Welcome back, super excited. Moving forward, I'm gonna demonstrate in this lesson how to go about importing data. Because right now, we have a blank Salesforce platform. Let's populate it with some sample data. There's several kinds of sample data out there. You can just search for it, bring it on. And as a homework, as a small project, I'd like you to come up with some sample data of your own choice and then try to import it. So in this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate the actual import process and what are some of the things that you need to look for and watch out for for a successful import so that you get comfortable with big data as well because you may have thousands and thousands of records out there in a CSV file or an Excel CSV file, for example, that you would like to bring into the Salesforce platform. So a couple of ways you can do it. I'm going to demonstrate one of them and I'm going to sign homework for the other. Okay, perfect. Let's get started. So from the left navigation pane, there's an option called data. And then within data, I have the data import wizard. The other option is data loader. So there are two ways, methods that you can import data. One is using the wizard that I'm going to demonstrate. And then the data loader is a homework that I'm going to assign to you. Because for data loader, you would have to actually download a small software, install it on your computer, and then run the import as well. So first I'm going to show you import wizard. I'm going to show you data loader as well. Uh, but first let's begin with the import wizard. So I'm going to click on import wizard. It navigates and brings me to the data import wizard screen. And here, if I scroll down, I can simply launch the wizard. It's a three easy step process. First, I need to prepare my data for import. In other words, I need to have an Excel CSV file. Choose the data. And then here's the important part. Edit the field mapping. So what happens is within your Excel CSV file, you may have certain columns that do not match with the columns in the Salesforce environment. So therefore, if you try to import mismatched columns, it's not gonna work, right? So you need to specify which columns are to be mapped within the Salesforce environment. And I'll demonstrate that it becomes clear as you actually see it. And then the final step is review and start to import. So let's go ahead and click on the launch wizard. So here's a three step process. The first step, next step is in the middle, and then the third step is on the right side, right? So the first step is what kind of data you're importing. Step two is what do you want to do with the data? And then where is your data located? So first, within my standard objects, I'm gonna import accounts and contacts. So simply click on this and places a check mark. Takes me to step two, which is add new records because everything is a fresh, right? So I'm not updating any existing records. I'm not adding new and updating. I'm actually just adding new records. So I'm gonna click on this. Gives me a couple of other options such as match contact by. So these are just the unique values in your data. So if I have an ID values or email values that I wanna use and specify as a unique ID, I could do so. If not, Salesforce is going to give it a 15 character of its own ID. So I'm gonna leave it blank. And third step is simply drag my CSV file here to upload, or I can click on the CSV file here, go to my Explorer, and then choose the file from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the CSV button. Brings me the choose option. Click on the choose file. Opens up the Explorer. Let's see if I can find my sample data folder. Select all files. And let's see, contacts to import. So this is the CSV file that I like to import. But before I import, I wanna actually show you what this file looks like, right? So it makes sense. So let me right click and just kind of open it directly from here. 
and it will open up Excel so we can actually take a look at the file and verify the field headings the columns so you'd actually get an idea of what is to be imported perfect so let me maximize Excel so make this columns a little bigger so you can see all of these columns perfect so looks like I have about 20 records right because row first is the actual header and then I have 20 records that I like to import the first name last name column the cell number the email address salutation and title pretty straightforward and this is again sample data that I want to use so notice uh, recall like I mentioned earlier the field names within your Excel CSV must match the field names in Salesforce so for some reason if they do not match as it is right we need to map these field names so for example F name needs to be mapped to the Salesforce equivalent field name right same thing with the last name cell email salutation and title so you get the idea right perfect so let's close this file for now so do not save the changes okay back to the open screen so I'm going to select the contacts to import and click open and this is going to select the contacts to import.csv file and a green checkbox is placed so I'm going to go ahead and click next and this is kind of nice because the platform in fact gives me the ability to map these fields as my second step so here notice automatically it picks up three fields which map exactly like for example the email field in my CSV header matches with the mapped Salesforce object called email same thing with salutation matches with salutation title maps correctly with title however the cell for instance within the CSV header file which is my Excel file cannot be mapped to the Salesforce object because the object name in Salesforce is different than what is provided in my CSV header file so I'm going to click on map here and try to see what fields are available within my Salesforce so I can map it correctly so it just says map your field cell is my field in the Excel file and map to the Salesforce field and the field name is let's see mobile phone because in Salesforce there is no field called cell phone right so it finds the mobile phone field and I'm going to click on it and click map and notice it maps the mobile phone field to the cell phone field perfect you get the idea same thing with first name and last name straightforward I'm gonna click on map so L name which is the last name is going to be mapped to the last so I'm just gonna type in last it brings up the last name click map voila it maps it and one more time let's do the first name mapping as well click on map perfect so now all of our CSV header files are mapped to the Salesforce object files so this is called the preparation of our CSV file before a successful import otherwise you're gonna lose some of these fields and it kind of shows you the example as well of what it looks like right so it kind of pulls the sample records directly from the CSV file and shows you that this is what it's gonna look like so once I'm done mapping I'm gonna go ahead and click next and this shows me that six mapped fields were done my import will not include zero mapped field because I've mapped successfully all of the fields and the selections are accounts and contacts add new records and contact to import.csv so once everything is set up I'm gonna click on start import and this is going to say congratulations your import has started click OK to view your import status on the bulk data load job page so I'm going to click on OK and it takes me to the bulk data load jobs and shows me the details of the actual properties so to speak for the actual import so my job ID 
the person who actually conducted the import, start time, finish time, and so on. So several details are available for you to view. So I just wanted to demonstrate how to import data into Salesforce. So go ahead as a practice task, as your homework, import a couple of files so you get the idea of how to do the import using the wizard. The other, remember, method is the data loader. So if I click on data loader, you would have to download either for Windows or for Mac, whichever version you're using. So again, this is a homework, download the data loader and then run the same file, import the same file again, or maybe import another file. If you have any questions, just let me know. But quickly, I wanna show you what the loader looks like. So this is what the data loader looks like when you actually download it, install it, and open it, right? So I already have it installed, so I figured I'd just show it to you, right? So this is a little um, quick sneak peek for your homework. So once you have the data loader open, you can insert, and then it'll bring up the Windows Explorer to add new records, same thing. If you wanna update existing records, you can use the update button, upsert, or delete and so on. So go ahead, practice with this. I hope this helps and let's move to the next lesson.